Hey guys, I'm Eric Amato from Radial Dynamics, and it's been a while since my last video, but I figured this is the perfect time to get back into some steering tech. Obviously, there's a lot that's been happening in the world over the past few weeks, and first of all, I hope that you're all staying healthy amid this pandemic. Um, but as much as it stinks that all of our off-road races and events have been getting canceled for the near future, uh, this is a perfect opportunity to be thinking about steering upgrades that you never got to over the winter, so that when life does get back to normal, your rig is ready to perform. So with that said, I wanted to spend a few minutes today talking about pressure relief valves, and in particular, external pressure relief valves like this one that are used to protect high flow steering systems. Now, every power steering system, whether it's the power steering system in your daily driver car, or a full hydraulic system that's turning 40 inch tires, has a pressure relief valve. Pressure relief valves, they protect the system from overpressurization. And I see a few misconceptions every now and then about exactly what these valves do and how they affect the performance and reliability of the system. So I wanted to just clarify a few things real quick, and that's to, to say that pressure relief valves do not have any effect on the flow rate coming out of the pump. And they also don't maintain a set pressure within the steering system. So for instance, if this is a 1600 PSI valve, it doesn't mean that your steering system is always going to be at 1600 PSI. It just means that it will protect the steering system from going over 1600 PSI. If you've seen some of my earlier videos testing power steering pumps and showing the dynamics between pressure and flow, you'd see that these pumps are always putting out a constant flow rate, but the pressure is typically pretty low until you start turning the steering wheels, and that's when you, you start to see resistance in the system, and it's when there's too much resistance that these valves open and they allow just enough flow to bypass out of the steering circuit to maintain a safe pressure limit. If we didn't have pressure relief valves within the steering systems, then a full block of flow through the steering circuit, such as holding the wheel against full lock, would cause this pump to build essentially infinite pressure until it either breaks or bursts a hydraulic line, which as you can imagine is a pretty dangerous situation. Now with most traditional power steering pumps like this CB pump from PSC, there's a flow control spool in the outlet portion of the pump body, and that spool has a small pressure relief valve within it. Now keep in mind that pressure relief and flow control are two different functions, they just happen to be in the same piece of hardware in these pumps. But high flow pumps, such as your traditional trophy truck pumps, as well as industrial hydraulic pumps, whether they're gear or vane style, or even PSC's CBR race style pumps, they don't have any internal pressure regulation, so they require an external pressure relief valve. Now compared to internal pressure relief valves that allow fluid to recirculate within a pump body, external pressure relief valves need to get teed into the high pressure plumbing of your steering system in between your pump and your orbital valve. In cases where there's too much resistance in the steering circuit, the valves will open up and they'll allow just enough oil to bleed off through the valve to a relief port so that it maintains a safe operating pressure in the system. Now one of the biggest challenges with these valves is handling the heat that they produce. Because high pressure oil is storing energy, so that when it gets diverted into your steering cylinder, it produces a force that's able to turn your tires. Well, when it goes through this valve, it's going from high pressure, typically 1500 to 2000 PSI, down to essentially zero PSI on the outlet port without doing any work, so the only way to relieve that energy is to produce heat. This means that the hottest oil in any steering system is actually the oil that's coming out of this pressure relief valve, and these valves open far more often than people realize. Now the issue with a lot of the setups that are on the market is that this port gets plumbed directly back to a second inlet on the reservoir, so your hottest oil in the steering system is bypassing your cooler and it's getting back to your pump before it has a chance to expel that heat. So as a result, it's no surprise that heat ends up being a major issue in high flow steering systems. So what I recommend instead, rather than plumbing this valve directly back to the reservoir, is to plumb it to a remote oil filter that features two inlets like this unit that we sell. So you can have your relief valve return plumbed to one inlet, your main system return plumbed into a second inlet, and now 100% of your flow rate, including the hottest oil in the system, can be plumbed into a cooler before returning back to the, to the reservoir. This has been a highly successful setup that I've used in Ultra 4 and Mega Truck Racing as well as rock crawling that's generated a lot of success and it's led to the development of my latest product that I'm excited to show you which is a high flow filter and pressure relief valve combo assembly. Now this uses the same high flow spin on filter good to about 25 gallons per minute so it can handle all of the highest flowing steering pumps on the market 
but it features an integrated pressure relief valve that's adjustable from 1500 to 3000 PSI. It comes preset at 2000 PSI, and when this valve opens to relieve pressure in the high pressure side of the steering system, it relieves that oil directly into the filter. So now you get the same benefit as this setup that has been so successful, but you get to eliminate one hose and several potential leak points from your system. Now these have been tested since last fall on a number of world-class monster trucks, which have produced the most punishing pressure spikes that you can imagine when you've got 12,000 pounds of truck falling from 40 feet in the air down to flat ground, but they've held up great, so I'm really excited about what these units can do and what they can do for your steering system. They're available now on the Radial Dynamics online store, along with standard mounting brackets for easy installation, and I'm also now stocking various hoses and fittings, so anything that you need to get one of these units set up in your, in your vehicle, I can help you with. So that's all I had for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about pressure relief valves or filters or anything to do with um, hydraulic steering, I'd be happy to help. So feel free to reach out to me through any of my social media pages. You can also reach me by email at info at radial-dynamics.com. So hopefully things return back to normal pretty soon and we can all get back to racing. Until then, be safe, be healthy, and I hope to see you all soon.